Hello everyone, in today's video, we will be breaking down this reel. Your brand isn't just a logo. It's how you move, how you speak, and how you show up. Even when no one is watching, every post, every reel, every frame builds trust. You're not just creating content, you're creating you. So if I move in prem, uh, in my video, the first animation we want to create is this. So first we will set up the whole frame, then we can animate it. So for that, I will just simply first select new item, color mate. I will set the resolution to 1080 by heights will be 9 by 20. And I will choose the white background and I will rename it to BG again and I will bring it to the timeline. Now I will go to the sequence setting and from here I will just change this again to the real size okay and our background is ready now once our background is ready we need to we need to add this logo so i will just bring it here i will go to effects controls and in the motion section i will just simply scale it up and i can just rotate it a bit it will be approximately i think it can be here if we see in the video so, so it is like that this is now once it is here i will just simply uh, select the anchor point i will bring it to the middle and i will now add a rotation keyframe move a few frames i will make it to 1x so it will be giving us this animation i can just simply bring it forward and now i can just simply ease it now i will just make a copy of it and i can just simply bring it to this side so it will be showing uh, i can make it to something bigger so if we see in the video it will be approximately right here the end frame so at the end frame i can just simply make it to something like this and i will bring this down so it will be here and from the opacity i will make it to 50. now i will make another copy of it and i will bring it to the other side and i will paste it here now once our frame is ready we need to add some text so to uh, you can add the text there is no animation to it and we can create this now just a logo so i will just simply go to windows extension and i will use premiere composer for text i will just simply attach it here in the starter pack i will move to text presets and in that i can just simply choose fade character animation for this now once it is here i can just simply go to property section right here and i will scroll down and first thing i will do i will make the color to black to see the text and i can just simply scroll down as well and in the position section i can just simply make it like this and in the text i will just uh, replace the text with just a logo so i will just make it so the text will be this and the font we need to uh, i will just choose this one because i have not installed fonts i have just made a new window and i will just make it bolder so the text is sorry this is not it you have to use some other text so i don't have fonts now i will use this and i will make all the letters capital so this will be the text i will just simply place it here and in the effects controls i will make its rotation to zero because it was rotated somehow so this is here now i will just go to this rectangle tool and i will just make a shape around this for example this and i can just simply bring it here now i will just go to properties select the shape and change the shape color to black and now i will just bring the text layer upwards bring this down and i will make the text color to white so it will be like this now we can just simply adjust the shape or you can adjust the text as well so i think it is like this so this is here so uh, if we see our whole frame is a bit ready so i will now just simply uh, select all of them nest them and i can just simply add a scale keyframe move this as our final position for example it will be here and at the start i will just simply bring it to something like this and i can just move into the sequence and i can bring this graphic and this layer uh, a bit forward i think it will be okay here so if we see the video like this and now sorry i forgot to animate this so to animate this i will just simply um go to anchor point and i will just bring the anchor point to the start and i now i will use disable uniform scale add a scale with keyframe and at the start the value will be zero 
now if we move back it will animate to something like this so you, if you see it is looking like this now moving forward once it is here i will add a position keyframe move a few frames and one thing i again forgot to go this and in this i will just disable animate out and i will now just bring it back now once this is done i will just move back and uh, in the effects control i will add a position keyframe and i will move it out of the frame to something like this and i will just simply select both and i can just ease in sorry ease in and in the graph i can just simply make the graph to something like this like this so now once this is done i will just simply delete it moving forward we need to create the next frame so this is the frame so first we will set up so i extracted this from the original video i will provide it in the description and i can just go to effects controls and uh, i can place it to somewhat like i think this is okay it is a bit small so i will just make it or if you want to make them into two parts you can just cop, uh, crop them from bottom to something like this and now we can make a copy of it and i will just make the bottom to zero and from the top i can just simply make it some length like this so there will be two emojis i will just simply place it wherever i want to so this will be approximately here and for this one this is so i will just place this here now once this is done we need to do that so i will just simply if we see there is a scale animation to it and there is a position one too so i will just move and first thing i will do i will just select the rectangle tool sorry this isn't this doesn't mean to be here i will just make it like this now i will select it press alt this isn't working so if you want to create i can i mostly use this uh, lips tool but it isn't working so i will just simply first create a rectangle and i can just simply go to properties and now i will just hold shift and uh, select this create ellipse mask and now i will just simply make it to something like this and i will make the mask feather to zero and now i can just move to properties select the shape and i can just scale it up and i will bring it here and uh, i will just double click on it and i can just uh, make sure to i will just place it here and now what i can do if i want to change its color i will go to properties select the shape and i will just move to linear gradient and from here i will make the one color black uh, sorry this will be black and this color will be also black and the middle one it will be a bit uh, white so i will just simply bring this sorry just cancel it and now i can just go in the fill i will go in linear gradient i will make the one side black and i will just move again and if we see I will just uh, make it to something like this i will click ok and now i can just simply make it in the middle and now i will add a scale keyframe and at the start value i will make it to zero so it will give us this animation now if we see in the video there will be this text and you can add the text just you move and now this brain png so i will bring this brain png to the timeline i will just simply go to effects controls and uh, i can just place it here and for the text if i bring this layer here and i will bring it here and if we see i will just go to properties and i will change its color to black and now if we see i can just simply delete one word and bring it here and i will just delete this it will be looking like this i can double click on it and i will just simply paste it here and i can just make it bigger so it will be like this and if we see the text i can just simply move and in the fill color i will make it to white and now i will bring the band png upwards this will be down so you can uh, this is how you can create this whole animation and now we can animate it so i will just simply select all of them i will nest it and i will go to effects control i will add a position and scale keyframes i will just move it here and at the start i will just simply zoom it here and move it to the other side so they will be giving us this animation i can select both and now i can just ease in them i will just go and i will change the graph of position to something like this so you can just adjust the text and the fonts because i don't have fonts for now so this isn't looking that good now now moving forward we need to create this animation 
So now if we move, I have this animation. So you can create all that. I will just simply go and I will just delete the sequence for now. And I will move it here. Now I will bring this headphones I extracted from the video. So I will just bring them here. I will go to effects controls and I can just simply make them bigger. So they will be approximately placed like this. Now I will just simply select a rectangle tool and I will make a rectangle shape like this or scare. And now I can go to properties and uh, I can just move this to add roundness and I will just make the fill color to black to something like this. So this will be here. Now we need to animate it. So I will just go to effects controls. I will select the anchor point and I will make it here approximately and I will add a scale keyframe bring this forward and make this to zero so it will be giving us this animation and now we can also place this here I will go to facts controls and I will move it here and if we see in the video uh, it also animates like that so I will add a rotation and a scale keyframe and I will just simply move it here approximately this will be the final position and at the start it will scale down and rotate to something like this so if we see again i can just simply bring this forward so it will be like this i can just adjust and now for this one i can just simply go to this sequence i can just copy these two layers and i will just bring them here so we don't have to create it again and again now i will just simply uh, double click on it and i will just bring the text here and now I will just deselect the graphic layer as well. I can add position or all that. So this text is here. So for that these PNGs for the main one I will just simply make them a bit bigger. And I will make them here so they have a space. And for this graphic layer I will just simply sorry for this one I will position it down. And for this graphic I will just simply make it down as well. So we can just simply change the you speak. So I will just simply go to properties and I will change it to you speak. So this will be the text written here. So remember these are just a, a random fonts. So now if we see moving next, these are the text. And for this animation, you can create that as well. So I will just move to this nested sequence. I will select this and I will bring it to the timeline. I will bring this graphic layer approximately here. So I will delete all that and I will bring this forward. And now for this one, I will just simply bring it down again. And now we have to place this into that. So I will just simply go to effects controls and I will simply make it like this. And now to change its direction, I will go and I will apply a effect called basic 3D and I will apply it to this layer I will go to effects controls and I can now change the direction of this to something this is okay now we need to animate these two so I will just simply nest them and now I can add a scale keyframe and the anchor point will be in the middle and at the start I will just make them to zero so they will be looking like this but I will bring this forward and now I can also ease in them so it will be approximately here now if we see there are the background so i will just simply bring this again and i will just simply drag it here i will just scale it up and rotate it a bit and in the facts i will just apply the blur the gaussian blur i will apply it to the layer and i will go to facts controls i will make the value to 25 or i can make it to 20 so they will be like this and for this one too i will just make a copy I will select it and I will bring it here and now I can just simply rotate it and I will make it like this and for this one too I will make it a bigger so the text said the this text will be created the same way so moving forward we need to create this one so this is the same animation just you have to I will just move to this nested sequence and I will copy these two and I can just also sorry I can just copy the two upwards and now I can just simply bring them here. I will just extend this and if you see they are rotating and now we can also copy this nested sequence. Sorry this is a circle. So I will just want a rectangle. So I will just bring this rectangle here and now we can just simply bring this 
uh, green screen also and in the effects i will search for ultra key so i will just bring it here and i will just unlink delete it now i will just select it go to ultra key and i will select the green part and now i will just simply scale it down and place it like this so it will be moving like this now moving forward we need to create this so this is simple just you can create it and now this is the frame one so you can just simply bring the frame like this and just add some now moving forward we need to create this transition so how can we do that i can just simply delete all of this and now i can just simply bring it here now to create uh, sorry i forgot to tell this animation so once it was like this and then it moves to this so how can we create that so i will just bring the original video to the timeline and i can just simply unlink and delete the audio for now so it is like so once we want to focus on this part then we can move forward so i will just go to fact control i will disable uniform scale and uh, i can just simply or what i can do i can just simply go here i will just search for crop effect i will apply the crop effect to this i will go to effects controls and now we have to set up some keyframes so i will just tap on bottom keyframes and at the start there will be something like this it will be like here so once it is here i can just simply bring these forward and once it moves they will just like this and now i can just simply bring these keyframes here i can just copy these to something like so first they will be like this and then they will just animate the whole frame so you can create it like this now moving forward this is the frame so i will just simply cut the video move and i will bring the frame to timeline and i will go to effects controls i will just scale it up and i will just place it here and now once we it is here we need to create the uh, animation so i will just simply bring the bring the background upwards so this was a white yes so for that i will just simply bring this here so once this is here i need to just add some uniform scale and we can just simply make it like this and now i will add a scale width keyframe at the end it will be zero and at the start it will be back 200 so i will bring this keyframe up but this is will be here so there it will it will create us this animation and so at the start i will just make it to zero and i can bring this keyframe forward so this is how you can create this animation and now to create this we need to add the logos first so i will just simply delete all of that like this first i will just simply bring this logo and x12 so i will just make it here and for this logo i will just select it and i will paste it here i will go to effects and i will apply the basic 3d effect to it like this and now i can go to effects controls and from here i can just simply make the logo to something so i think it is okay now i will just simply bring it here and it, it is black and white so i will just apply the black and white effect to it this is the black and white effect i will apply it to the layer and i will bring this logo to the timeline i will just simply select it and i will paste it here and again i will just type in basic 3d i will apply it to this layer and now if we see i will just simply go to fax controls and you can it will be like this and now i will just simply again apply the black and white effect to it this is the black and white effect i will apply it to this layer as well and i we will apply some blur so i will just search for blur as well scrolling down uh, i will find gaussian blur this is the Gaussian blur i will just apply it to one layer for now go to effects controls i will make its value to 20 and now i will make a copy of this gaussian blur and i will paste this to this layer and you can create these text as well so this is it uh, i this is it for today i hope you found this video helpful make sure to like and subscribe and i will see you in the next one until then take care and bye